Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use Excel to calculate year-to-date returns for a set of stocks. So I've got a blank worksheet set up here, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at some stocks. Particularly, I'll look at uh, Microsoft, Tesla, um, let's try good old IBM, and what about GameStop? Now, for year-to-date, we're going to be looking at the first day of trading um, for that for for the particular year and you know off to the side here I'm gonna write in a little function equals today so just we're clear uh, today is uh, March 10th 2021 when I'm recording this and yeah the markets are still open actually okay so the day I want to record though is gonna be the first uh, trading day of 2021 which was January 4th of 2021 that was the the first Monday after New Year's Day. New Year's Day was like a Friday. So, so we're gonna to have to get the prices there. And then I'm gonna compare it to the previous day's close. So I'm gonna take the current date minus one to get the previous date. Remember today is March 10th. So I'll be looking at the closing price for uh, March 9th. Okay, cool. And now uh, for, for any one of these here, I'll pick on Microsoft equals stock history. Now I'm going to complete a couple things here. So the stock in question is going to be the cell that contains my um, my symbol and I'm going to put, let's see, I want this to be an absolute row and a relative column. Is that correct? No, that is not correct. I want it to be an absolute column and relative row. That's what I want it to be. Comma. Now the start date, I'm just going to click on this cell right up here, and that's going to be an absolute row but relative column. Now you might be wondering why I'm using these mixed references. It's um, I'm spending a few seconds here so I can save myself a few seconds later. Because when I write this function properly, I want to be able to autofill it down and then autofill it across to populate uh, for the uh, current date basically for the other stock. So I think that's pretty good. Um, so I've got that and I'm letting the screen tip here for the stock history function kind of guide me with what I need to do next. Now comma, it's now my next parameter is end date, which I don't really care about. So I'm gonna hit another comma, leaving that one blank. Interval, daily, so I'll type a zero. Um, end of day values basically, comma, I don't need a header because I have my own header. Um, I'm creating a header up here. So that's going to be a, uh, a zero, no header, comma. Now it's asking me for my properties. And these are the things I can look up. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to look up closing price. So we'll, so we'll do a number one for closing price. And then I can close my parentheses. So I think I've got it set. I'm going to hit the uh, Enter key. So in theory, the closing price for Microsoft on January 4th, 2021 was 217.69. And if I've written this function properly, we should be able to autofill it down to get the other prices. Cool, looks like it's working. And then autofill it across to get the relatively current prices. Remember, today's March 10th. These were closing prices for the previous trading day, March 9th. All that was just set up. Calculating our year-to-date returns should be pretty easy. So over in this column, year-to-date returns. Um, okay, so it's going to be equal to, and let's do this in parentheses here, it'll be the current price or the most current price that we have minus the old price beginning of the year, closing parentheses, divided by old price beginning of the year. And I already have that formatted as a percent. Um, if you first do this though, it may look like a, a big decimal. So just change that formatting to percent and show whatever decimals you'd like. And that looks pretty good and it should be written so that we should be able to autofill it down. And there we go. So now we have our year to date returns for these various stocks. So obviously Microsoft has gone up a little over 7%. Tesla has gone down um, a little over 7%, almost 8%. IBM has stayed pretty flat. And GameStop, of course, uh, the exciting one there. That's up over 1,300% year to date. So yeah, so that's the year to date formula there. 
The formula is just the new price minus the old price divided by the old. New minus the old divided by the old. That's pretty easy. And um, of course, the stock history function, that one's pretty neat too. That's what we're using to uh, extract those specific prices on those dates for the particular symbols. Cool. So give it a shot for yourself and uh, thanks for hanging out with me.